Welcome to Rusty Duck Garage. We hope you enjoyed today's video. We have a local classic car here owned by a gentleman from Newburgh, Oregon. All right, good morning, guys. Welcome to Rusty Duck Garage here. Hey, this morning here, we got a beautiful 1956 Buick Special two-door hardtop. This car is uh, lowered down, as you can see, on airbags with wire wheels. Two-door hardtop. Boy, she's a beauty. That color is just awesome on this car. Would you know? Wouldn't probably be the first color you picked when uh, when you go out and buy one of these cars. But when you see it on this car, it's just amazing. Local Oregon car here, Newburgh, Oregon. Um, guy, gentleman, stopped by. Friend of ours. Uh, just borrowed the tool and dropped it back off. Just super. He bought the car. It was all stock. Um, he added the uh, wire wheels to it and then added the air ride on it. I believe the engine is a, a factory 322 that's had the top end redone and stuff. Uh, just a great, great driving car. Uh, said he absolutely enjoys the car. All right, we got a beautiful little nail head engine in here. Now, if you're familiar with these, the power steering pump would be up higher and it's just kind of ugly. He's taken this one and built some custom brackets there and lowered the power steering pump down there and just cleaned it up so you can really see those nail head valve covers standing straight up there. Got the chrome uh, Edelbrock carb on it, uh, alternator. That really looks good. I was very surprised to see how nice it, uh, the engine would look in this thing. Here are a couple things I noticed is really cool. Check out that HEI distributor. Uh, it's got the spark plug wires with the orange boots. Looks like an old conventional ignition. Like a nice touch to it. Uh, spark plug wires go into some real nice covers here. Got them arranged nice. You can't even see them. Uh, just really, really clean looking. Uh, this back here is the windshield washer bottle. Uh, look at the size of that thing. It looks like it's vacuum controlled and not sure how it works, but pretty All cool. Right, we'll go give you a little video of the interior in here you can see the door panel is really nice uh, original style um, could be original I'm not sure on that uh, tuck and roll headliner is just beautiful in the car dash on it just gorgeous uh, small steering wheel there or the button there just really looks nice there a lot of chrome power brakes uh, carpet's really nice in it. Just a super nice car. And this is the car, you know, just as he drives it. Uh, pulls it out of the garage and, and just takes it for a run. And uh, just a great, reliable car. There you're on the passenger side. You can also see how nice it is. That center bar in the grill there. Pretty awesome. Got a clock in there. Larry's got a couple of fuzzy dice in there. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you how this door is closed here. It's got the uh, garnish molding up there above on the top. Wow, just closed. Closes really nice. They don't make them like that anymore. A lot of stainless uh, supercar. Guys, you know, we all love the 55, 56, 57 Chevrolet. My first car was a 55 Chevrolet two-door post. But I got to tell you, these Buick and Pontiac two-door hardtops, when they're fixed up, are just a beautiful car. And I got to say, I think I like them more than the 55, 6, and 7 Chevrolets today. We've all seen the 55, 6, 7s tricked out, hot-rodded. And just some fantastic cars, uh, really fixed up nice. But it's kind of special when you get to see a car like this 56 here, Buick Special. These cars don't have to be fast. They don't have to be Canyon Carvers. All they have to do is just be really nice, nice paint, set of wheels and tires, lower it down, and you've got yourself one awesome machine like Larry has here. Thank you. For watching this episode of rusty duck garage and if you would please hit that subscribe button and that like button and that really help us out and stay tuned we'll be bringing more videos to you thank you